Well, here we go. Getting set up for day five. A bit more windy here. But uh, so, yesterday went okay. Finished seventh, I think, which has moved me down to fourth, but only 200 odd points away from first place here. So the team is 300 points away from gold. We're sitting pretty happy in a bronze medal position right now. We've got a couple of thousand points between us and Germany. So it's going pretty good. Uh, so we just need to keep up this consistency, getting three Brits in the top 10 every day. And we may even be able to overtake the Czechs and the Italians. So that's currently what the team brief pretty much is. We all obviously want to work on our own scores, but primarily the team gold is what we want most. So time to go have a look at what the task is for today, get some lunch and uh, soon we should be flying. Uh, I will start with the brief happenings of yesterday as usual. So we had a successful task, so we went to the new goal in the sport airfield of Logovardi, so you see how it's there. This is one of the three that we are us using in the highest percentage in, 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 the, in, the, in the, this uh, valley. The other one is A08. We had some considerations of using that today, but we decided to stick with the decision of yesterday. So, in third place yesterday was Alessandro Ploner. Hey, hey. Second place goes to Marco Laurenti. Oh. And the guy who should be penalized because he didn't invite anyone from the staff for the birthday celebration, <laughs> Balas from Hungary. Okay. A present from Icaro and a present from the organization. In the overall, Peter Benes is leading and Italy as a nation. This morning we prepared some tasks according to the forecast that we had, which uh, later changed as we came to take off. So I will tell you what was predicted and obviously what is the different story in the air. Basically we had a prediction that um, the valley is not going to be that active this early and uh, the mountains will work much better. But uh, obviously it's a slightly different uh, picture now. So the the at the beginning, the, the tasks were very similar as, as they are now, but all these turn points on the east were slightly closer in the middle of the flats. And uh, the task committee, in the last moment when we were on takeoff, decided, looking at the sky, that it's a bit better than predicted, so we're going to enlarge it. Uh, Weather-wise, the predicted uh, cloud base uh, for today is uh, starting from 2300 all the way up to 2,500, 600 in the late afternoon maybe and um, good working uh, thermal activity on the mountains and uh, a bit less in the flats that was what was predicted uh, what is very important for today is the wind we have a predicted wind of uh, 20 plus uh, kilometers from the north uh, northeast lower and around this uh, these ridges on, on this mountain ridge all the way to Bitola and uh, north in the uh, on the cloud base climbing even up to 30 k per hour in the afternoon uh, the same wind goes uh, also on the ground so this is the biggest uh, uh, remark for the day that uh, this strong wind might uh, cause us some troubles that's why the task is kind of Side wind all the way zigzag uh, to the south part of the valley to the goal. Okay, it's not been easy on takeoff. Got 20 odd k's an hour of wind. The thermals have been very broken. There's uh, many layers of cloud heights. Currently only at seven and a half. Climbing slowly. 21 minutes before the start. Yeah, I need to concentrate. Okay, so I got drilled for the first start. Looks like a lot of people took the third. But I uh, managed to make cloud base now with 1 minute 28 left to go. For the second start. And I'm actually with Petr Benes, who's uh, leading the comp. And then Balash, who's in second. The so first, second, and fourth. We're all waiting for the. Uh, Waiting for the second start. It can prove to be a uh, lesson in disguise. 
guys. Been and got the uh, best turn point north of the valley. Now climbing four up with our Kathleen to flow up. Uh, 15 k's to the uh, second, 107 kilometers to go. We're on a bit of a chasing mission. Okay, so four and a half k from the uh, third turn point now, 6,200. Sounds of the radio. Looks like we're only five or six k's behind Carl and Gordon. And we're 20 minutes uh, late to start from them, which is good. Climbing up here with Malcolm, Balash, Hello Bobstanger, and uh, Tom Weissenberger. Struggling ahead, so taking this climb. We'll probably be gliding soon. Big soon. Got a bit low out there then. Climbing five up now with uh, Jan, Josh, the plane to stop, and the gang I was with didn't commit, and they're much lower now. 13.7 now. The uh, fourth, I think. This is good. These guys are on the first star. Twenty uh, minutes on them. This could be the day. Well, we went from uh, cracking climbs to staying alive. We can help out some nice paragliders here. Climbing, not much. 5,200 we were very low. 13.3k from a uh, turn point down that valley. Just down there. And uh, 38k to go. Gotta get up. Focus on getting up. We're in zeros now. And uh, we're with this paraglider. Looks like we're landing. 12k to go.
going so well. Oh, just over 10k short of goal, which is just over there. Had a turn point here and going back there. Past Gordon, he was going to the turn point we had at the deep end of this valley. And uh, there was Grant, maybe even Christian. Um, and another glider trying to climb up on the hill there. I, uh, I glided out to this area, looked like it was all in sun. We'd had some help from that previously, but uh, looks like maybe the day is just done. Had a pretty nice safe landing here. Tried to land in this field, but landed in the crop just the other side, but it was all good. There's a tractor coming towards me, so hopefully he's a nice farmer. You probably can't see him, but Blanky is just landing over there. Gone for the downwind dash to see if he can find anything. But yeah, that was a pretty good flight, really. I was with Balash. Balash landed quite a bit further back, so I oh, should jump him on the scores. Although on an open distance day, if people did get to goal, which they probably did if they did the first start. But we caught people up quick, so it'll be uh, very interesting to see. I haven't looked at the live track or anything like that yet. I should probably message Christina now and tell her I've landed. And then I'll uh, get packed up and back home. Welcome to Not Goal. It's Not Goal. That's not a tarmac road. Christina. Yeah? The walk of shame. <laughs> <laughs> Darren's landed out. But this he's got some friends with him. Come round. Oh. Onto the road. Okay. Okay, we'll show you how to Ooh. load oh. up this van. Ooh. 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 Oh, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Wait one. Ooh. Oh, look at that. Very high. Ooh. <laughs> Today, and I was even pantser. Pantser? <laughs> Were you like a drawer of pants? A what? A drawer of pants, like, like mini pants. I was like a drawer of Ooh. pants. Yeah, and how many ice creams have you taken so far to get over that? He's taken me two ice creams so far, but I think I'm going to need another three. Another three? Five ice creams for another, one day? Another three. It was a difficult day. He said he's had two ice creams. And he wants another three, for any of those people that don't speak Northern. Just... <laughs> <laughs> Translator. 